Okay, we're going to talk about how to solve problems involving the compounding continuously function um, for t. Okay, so if three thousand dollars is invested at six percent compounded continuously, then how long will it take for the investment to grow to ten thousand dollars? As soon as you see compounded continuously, you know you're using the formula a equals p e to the r t. Okay, three thousand is our p. Then we have e and r is 0 0.06 to the t, and we know a is 10,000. Okay, so I'm trying to solve for e here, so I just need to divide both sides by 3,000. So that'll give me 10 over 3 here, e to the 0 0.06 t. And now I want to get rid of this e, so I'm going to do that by doing the natural log. Okay, so that'll give me 0 0.06t on the right and the natural log of 10 over 3 on the left. Okay, now I want to get t by itself, so I just need to divide both sides by 0 0.06. Okay, <clears throat> so this would be the exact solution. If you want to round it, however, which would make more sense since we're talking about a physical time, just going to do natural log of 10 divided by 3 divided by 0 0.06 20.07 years it's approximately equal to t okay how long will it take money to double if it is invested at 4% compounded continuously. So once again we're using a is equal to p e to the rt. Now this time we don't know a or p. However, we do know that a needs to be twice whatever p is. Okay. So the way we're going to solve this, it'll work for any p. Okay. So just put 2p in for a. p e, now r in this case is 0 0.04 t okay now notice if we want to get this e by itself when we divide both sides by p p's cancel out over here giving me just 2 is equal to e to the point zero four t so if you're ever looking for something to double just uh, drop the p make it a 2 if we were talking about triple you do 3 is equal to and then the part with the e there Okay, so I want to get that t by itself, so I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. So I get the natural log of 2 is equal to 0 0.04t. Okay, and then I divide both sides by 0 0.04, so the natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.04 is equal to t. So that would be the exact solution, but we don't want an exact solution. We want to get a value that makes sense in terms of years. So 17.33 so 17.33 years would be approximately equal to t.